Breast cancer is the most diagnosed cancer worldwide, and nearly half of women around the world will have dense breast tissue, which means they're 20% more likely to develop breast cancer. Now, in 2023, Professor Yulin Chow, whom I'm about to talk to, led a study that could improve breast cancer detection rates in women with dense breasts by using ultrasound. Professor Chow. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> Very good morning to you, sir. Yes, welcome to our school. Thank you so much for seeing me. Um, take a seat. I'm looking oh, forward sure. to hearing more about the study. Sure, sure. Professor Chow, it's great mm. to meet you. Let, let's start by setting the context. How many women in China are diagnosed with breast cancer every year? And uh, based on the WHO and the data from the global camp, and about 416,000 new cases each year in, in China. Based on our estimation, it's about over 60% of the cases have the density breasts. What does it mean to actually have dense breasts? And, and how does a woman find out if she has dense breasts? And usually, you know, the women, they don't know they have the density breast or non-density breast, but they only can tell from the mammography. And if the women has density breasts, that means, you know, they have the higher and the risk of the uh, development of the breast cancer. Mammography, and uh, that is a common and a screening tool. In, in the industrial country, if the women come to the screening, and uh, usually the, the, the first and uh, the, the primary screening, they use a mammography. So the, even the mammography is negative result, but they found that the women has density in the breast, then they will ask them, to add the another ultrasound test, make sure they don't miss the, the, you know, the false negative. But, but uh, because we have a knowledge of the uh, radiologist, so we use ultrasound as a screening tool instead of using mammography in the industrial country. So we need to uh, um, do some study, give me the confidence, this is a new tool, because the uh, IBAS can be used in the Hospital. Uh, so, so what is the difference between a normal ultrasound and an automatic breast ultrasound? The, for the, the normal ultrasound, they use the hand, we call the handheld ultrasound. So the totally operator dependent is not the automatic ultrasound. Automatic ultrasound, you can digitalize the, your imaging and then you can and send it and to the remotely for example, to the uh, expert in the, um, and the bigger hospital for the, your and the diagnosis. Um, and why is automatic breast ultrasound particularly effective when it comes to women with dense breasts? Actually, in the tertiary hospital, for the more experienced, you know, the radiologist, uh, there is a lot difference. So the automatic ultrasound can use in a lower health resources area. You know, no matter you are in the countryside, in a remote area, or you are in the in a small city and you have less, you know, and the low health resources. And then data shows us the AVAS can detect the more cases than the handheld ultrasound and also can be used in the lower health resources.